Alive and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man, D-Real, coming at you with another Be Real with D-Real, where edutainment is what I do. Wonder Man. Wonder Man, reportedly, is going to be Black Man um, in a Disney Plus series. What do we know about Wonder Man? I mean, we I, I did a story where we just basically kind of described who Wonder Man was and the hows and the whys and whatever. And because edutainment is what I do here at Be Real with D-Real, um, I want y'all to know, you know, about the history, or not the history, rather, the, the origin and first appearance of one Simon Williams, a.k.a. Wonder Man. Whether he's black, whether he's white, whether he's orange, whether he's purple, this is his story. And before we get off into it, I need y'all to do what you always do for me. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to be real with the real page so that when new material comes out, you get it. If you're digging what a brother's shoveling, put some dirt in my bucket. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to be real with the real page. Now, let's get into it. Who is Simon Williams, aka Wonder Man? Well, let's take a look. This is the first ever appearance of Wonder Man in Avengers number nine, all the way back in 1964, 64, 65, thereabout. Um, newest, most dynamic surprise character from the world famous House of Ideas with Zemo, the Enchantress, and the Executioner in the background. Mm. The coming of the Wonder Man. Wonder Man, like as in German, Wonder Man. Wonder Man, destined to become one of the most provocative, exciting, talked about new characters of the year. Wait till you see it. Inventor arrested for embezzlement, Simon Williams admits guilt, blames Anthony Stark for downfall. I like how the newspaper explains the plot. And a more the Enchantress shows up and pays Simon Williams bond. With the executioner in tow, Agony Moore, how'd you like to get revenge on Tony Stark, bruh? South America? Y'all taking me to South America? I don't see a white businessman getting in trouble for, I mean, I don't see a black businessman getting in trouble for embezzlement like this guy is getting in trouble for embezzlement because first off, black guys don't own billion dollar companies and the ones that do don't get in trouble for it. Okay? There's one reason why Simon Williams shouldn't be black. Or are we just going to make him into a stuntman and skip the whole industrialist part of his origin? Hmm. And speaking of industrialists, there is Tony Stark, who has not revealed that he is Iron Man to his teammates. But that's okay. Nor has Thor revealed to his teammates that he is Donald Blake, so to speak. And here is Simon Williams, laid out, ready to receive the ionic energy secret process that was perfected by one Heinrich Zima. There you go. Hit a switch. Looks very archaic. You can almost see his strength increasing. Uh, okay. And after receiving the treatment, he raises up, looking a little more buff and bigger, you know. And that figures into, you know, uh, super soldier formula heavy 
uh, MCU. So that's probably what they'll do. Oh, it would do a variant, a derivative of the Super Soldier formula. A little bit of trivia for you. Those of you who know or don't feel like looking it up, how, well, too bad, because I'm not going to tell you, um, how many derivatives of the Super Soldier Serum are there in the 1-9 Quad 9 universe? He's bulletproof. And he's got a costume. And it's green. Wonder Man. Why the costume? Why the corny name? Even Simon Williams believes the name Wonder Man is corny. But he took it. And she said, you look handsome. He, he could get it. That, that, that's what the Enchantress is doing. And here's uh, uh, the executioner in the back being a sissa mouth hater. You, you never looked at me like that because you got a hole in your afro, bruh, and you got that funny hairstyle. It's weird. Clearly, he's strong. His fists are the equal of Thor's hammer. We've established that. And transistor-powered jets enable him to fly with a rocket belt. Transistors did everything back in the 60s. And he beats up the executioner in seconds. Mm. Okay. So Zemo being nickel slick said, hey, bro, you got to do with what we want you to do or, or the ionic treatment going to kill you within a week. So not so much an assassin as he is an unwilling pawn. He has no choice. He must be loyal. show up and there's the enchantress and the executioner let's get them wow it wasn't no time in between they just dived in okay and there's cap dodging zemo's ray they're just going to it doing what they do but then out of nowhere make way for wonder man whoa and wonder man pops the executioner and Thor is able to get Zemo stuff. And he he's just handling them. Oh, and we've got to escape. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Wonder Man, you're pretty cool. Um, And he's from the heart of the Amazon jungles. Technically, that's true. And so they're like, you know, like what the Avengers always do. You wish to be an Avenger? Uh, and they let him join. Just like that. Yep. So Zemo's kind of a schemer, you know. That's Maybe that's where uh, young Helmut gets it from. He sure wears that same ugly purple with the fur. What was you doing in South America? And so he tells them a hammed up story. He was captured by a scientist named Z. And he escaped. Look at that lie. Zemo has the skill to increase a man's strength, but he also has the brains to stop you from escaping. Unless this is a trick planned by Zemo. See, Cap's smart. It didn't work. It could be ruined. 
No need to worry. I'll fix it. And she throws a spell halfway across the globe, a testament to the power of the enchantress's magic. And you, you, we'll help you. And so they're working on a formula to save Wonder Man. As always, the bad guy reports in. And there's Wasp. But she can't shrink down. Anyway. Here comes Thor. Here comes Iron Man, the first victim. And Iron Man gets stopped by a big magnet. 60s. But Cap's there and kicks the executioner in the face. Thor's there, but gets hit in the face by Wonder Man and drops him in a hole and puts a rock over it and he can't get to his hammer. And here comes Giant Man who gets fucked up. <laughs> He's laying them all out. One blow. I'm going to throw a big rock at you. No, but I'm going to catch it and throw it back at you. Now, Iron Man, now, man. And he's free from the magnet. And Cap is coming at him. And Wonder Man is fighting back. Iron Man's there, too. And he gets grabbed by the leg and thrown. But he's fighting. What happened to Thor? Uh-oh. Thor needs his hammer. I got to get over there. Oh, no. I'm fighting Wonder Man. And he's tougher than me. But I got to get this rock off. My transistors. There we go. Them transistors again. But she puts him to sleep before he can free Thor. Because they know if he frees Thor... It's over. And they've beaten the Avengers. And he holds Wonder Man hostage because you'll be dead if you don't do what I say. And he's having that, that moment. And he's, he likes the respect he got from the Avengers. And he hates that he was treacherous. And so he becomes truly a good guy and moves the rock and frees Thor before, right after he gets jumped by the execution. Uh-oh. Blake got the hammer. I wonder why it didn't turn back into a cane like it usually does. Hmm. And the executioner is executionered. And once again, the enchantress is clouding people's vision so she can escape. And they're getting away. And we might have destroyed them all, if not for Wonder Man. And so, we're going to escape. The Avengers are going to give chase. But it's a trap. And it caves in. And Wonder Man's laying there dead. Or almost dead. And he's like, oh, I didn't die in vain. But he dies. But we know that much later, he comes back as a Zavimbi, whatever the hell that is, but it's zombie-like. Um, but it's just, I guess, like a side effect of the ionic energy in his body adjusting to operating again. And then he truly joins the Avengers and, and, and contributes a little bit, overcomes his fear of, of being a superhero and getting beat up and possibly getting killed. 
and you know goes on to become a decent superhero. Thing about it, you can tell this story without making this character black. If you want to give us a black character, give us Icon. If you're talking Marvel, you know, give get there are a ton of them. Luke Cage right there, who who hasn't been seen for a number of years. You know, Daredevil's back. What about Luke Cage? You're going to resurrect the Netflix folk. I believe Luke Cage should be. It doesn't necessarily have to be Mike Coulter. Um, it could be any brother. You know, we just want our Luke Cage, a black superhero who's actually black, that you don't have to change his color, his race. You don't have to change that. Boom. It's right there. So, I mean... Wonder Man has a reasonable enough origin story. You're going to have to take out the Enchantress and the Executioner. You're going to have to take out Zemo. Uh, what do you have left? How are y'all going to tell that story? I'd be curious to know, but what am I saying? They always bastardize the story and make it into whatever they feel like making it. It's their IP. But look here. If you don't want to rock with it, you ain't necessarily got to rock with it. It is what it is. But like I said, you don't have to make Wonder Man black. You want to throw us a bone? Give us, give us, give us Storm. You know what I mean? You want to throw us a bone? Make Moses Magnum the next villain. There are plenty of black characters out there. How about how about we get a prequel of Goliath? That might be an interesting, you know, excursion to 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 make a black character or put a black character on screen. Ain't necessarily got to be Lawrence Fishburne. It could be a younger actor since it's a, a a flashback. How fun would it be to see Goliath in action? You know, I got a lot of ideas, and then there are a ton of female superheroes out there, black female superhero we could tell frenzy story you know yeah x-men we could talk about frenzy you know what i mean they're, they're out there y'all just have to stop copping out that's maybe it's because y'all don't talk to people in the comic book industry or associate with them and so you you're missing this information See why it is so important to consult people that work in the industry that you work in? How are you making movies about superheroes and not talking to people in comics? Kind of like how you did with She-Hulk and didn't get no law consultation about a show called She-Hulk Attorney in Law. It is what it is. But I'm not going to go into that rant. That's a video for another day. That's it for now. I will be coming at y'all with another one of them other ones. And until I do, yo, y'all be good. Be good to each other.